Hello everybody, hope you're all okay. So this week, as promised, we're going to be reading the story of Zog. Now I know already that lots of you love this story and I really, really enjoy this story. So I hope we have a fabulous week and lots and lots of learning all around Zog. And if you've not read the story of Zog before, I think you'll really enjoy it. Madam Dragon ran a school many moons ago. She taught young dragons all the things that dragons need to know. Zog, the biggest dragon, was the keenest one by far. He tried his hardest every day to win a golden star. Just like we do at school, we try and get stickers, don't we, for all of our hard work. And Zog is desperate for a star from his teacher, Madam Dragon. All the dragons in year one were learning how to fly. Hi, said Madam Dragon, way up in the sky. Zog went off to practice, flying fast and free. He soared and swooped and looped the loop, then crashed into a tree. Oh no, poor Zog. I bet his head hurt. Just then, a little girl came by. Oh, please don't cry, she said. Perhaps you'd like a nice sticky plaster for your head. What a good idea, said Zog. Then up and off he flew, his plaster gleaming pinkly as he zigzagged through the blue. That was kind of the little girl, wasn't it? Good job she had a plaster. A year went by and in year two, the dragons learned to roar. More, said <coughs> Madam Dragon, louder, I implore. Now that you've been shown, you can practice on your own and you'll all be champion roarers by the time you're fully grown. Zog went off to practice. He roared with fearsome force. He kept it up for hours on end, but then his throat grew hoarse. Oh dear, hoarse means it's a little bit sore. I wonder what will happen next. Ah, who have we got here? Just then the girl came by again. She said, what rotten luck. Perhaps you'd like a nice soothing peppermint to suck. What a good idea, said Zog, then up and off he flew. And breathing fumes of peppermint, he zigzagged through the blue. Here he is again, flying away. So good job that girl was there again. She's very, very handy to know, isn't she? A year went by and in year three, the dragons learned to blow. No, said Madam Dragon, breathe out fire, not snow. Now that you've been shown, you can practice on your own and you'll all be breathing bonfires by the time you're fully grown. Zog went off to practice. He blew with all his might. He twirled around in triumph and his wingtip caught a light. Oh no, what's going to happen now? Look, my dragon friend's just fallen down. Look, there we go. Mm -hmm. Ah oh, yes, here she is again. Just then the girl came by again. She said, you poor old thing. Perhaps you'd like a nice stretchy bandage for your wing. What a good idea, said Zog. Then up and off he flew, his bandage flapping wildly as he zigzagged through the blue. All the year four dragons were learning, can you guess? Yes said Madam Dragon, how to capture a princess. Now that you've been shown, you can practice on your own. You'll need to capture hundreds by the time you're fully grown. So now Zog's got to find a princess. Zog went off to practice. He tried and tried and tried, but he simply couldn't manage. I'm no good at this, he cried. I'll never win a golden star. Just then, he saw the girl. Perhaps, she said, you'd like to capture me. I'm Princess Pearl. <gasps> what a good idea, said Zog. Then up and off they flew, the princess gripping tightly as they zigzagged through the blue. Oh, she's so kind. She's letting Zog capture her so that he's good in his class. Ah, said Madam Dragon, our first princess so far. Congratulations, Zog, my dear. You've won a golden star. 
How do you think he's feeling? I think he's feeling really proud right now, isn't he? He finally gets his golden star. Zog was proud and happy, and Pearl felt good as well. She took the dragon's temperatures and nursed them when they fell. She's such a kind princess, isn't she? Always helping Zog and now Zog's friends. A year went by and in year five, the dragons learned to fight. Right, said Madam Dragon, here comes a real live knight. Up spoke the knight. My name, he said, is Gadabout the Great. I've come to rescue Princess Pearl. I hope I'm not too late. Does she need rescuing, do you think? Zog breathed fire and beat his wings. You can't, she's mine, he roared. Oh, no, she's not, yelled Gadabout and waved his trusty sword. The other dragons crowded round and watched them all agog. Who was going to win the fight, Sir Gadabout or Zog? Who do you think will win? <gasps> oh, serious stuff now, isn't it? Then Princess Pearl stepped forward, crying, Stop, you silly chumps! The world's already far too full of cuts and bruise bumps, burns and bumps. Don't rescue me. I won't go back to being a princess and prancing round the palace in silly frilly dress. Me too, exclaimed the knight and took his helmet off his head. I'd rather wear a nice twisty stethoscope, he said. What's a stethoscope? Do you know? Can you see? It's in Princess Pearl's hand. A stethoscope is something that doctors use. Perhaps, princess, you'll train me up. And Pearl replied, of course, but I don't see how the two of us could fit upon your horse. Hmm, what could they do instead? Then Zog said, flying doctors, I'd love to join the crew. If you'll let me be your ambulance, then I can carry you. Bravo, said Madam Dragon, an excellent career. And all the year five dragons gave a loud resounding cheer. Oh, they're all really happy for Zog and the doctors, aren't they? Then Madam Dragon told the horse, I really hope you'll stay. I'll let you be my pupil's pet and feed you lots of hay. That's good news, isn't it? Because then the knight's horse is not going to be lonely. He's also got somewhere where he belongs. What a good idea, said Zog. Zog, then up and off he flew. The flying doctors waving as they zigzagged through the blue. And that's the end of our lovely story of Zog. I hope you enjoyed that. I really enjoyed sharing it with you all. And I can't wait to see all of the fantastic work that you're going to do around Zog this week. Remember to email it to me, Mrs. Good and Mrs. Poncia, because we get super excited when we receive mail, especially if it's photos and videos of all the exciting things that you're doing. You all take care now and keep being really good for your mums and dads and grown-ups. Bye.